Eva LeBay of the Carnegie Observatories is part of a team of researchers that has broken the distance barrier for uncovering primordial ultra-blue galaxies. Observations from a rejuvenated Hubble Space Telescope with new instruments have revealed galaxies from 13 billion years ago, just 600 to 800 million years after the Big Bang. The galaxies are so blue that they must be extremely deficient in heavy elements, and so represent a population that has nearly primordial characteristics. These galaxies existed at 700 million years after the Big Bang, and so must have started forming stars hundreds of millions of years earlier. This pushes back the time of the earliest star formation. The results come from the Hubble Ultra Deep Field 2009, which was able to reveal galaxies with large redshifts. The redshift is a measure of the stretching of the wavelength of starlight caused by the expansion of space. A long-standing question is whether these early galaxies put out enough radiation to cause reionization, that is, when light strips electrons from hydrogen gas. Between about 400 million and 900 million years after the Big Bang, reionization ended a universal dark ages by altering opaque neutral hydrogen to a more transparent ionized form. Observations indicate that there may have been too few galaxies to ionize the universe, but early galaxies may have been more efficient at ionization. Researchers say they are reaching the limits of what can be achieved with the Hubble Space Telescope. Further research will require bigger facilities such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Giant Magellan Telescope. These results are among many related papers published worldwide, including presentation on January 6, 2010 at the 215th meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Washington, D.C. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.